Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be making festive holiday coffee creamers. Of course guys, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. You guys can always find me over on Instagram, at Maison Molly, where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you might be interested in, you can find me right here. Let's make some coffee creamers. Alright friends, so it's holiday season, everything is festive, merry, and bright, and I got to thinking, how fun would it be to make holiday coffee creamers? I know the seasonal coffee creamers can be hard to get at times. I spent an entire two months looking for the Chobani pumpkin spice coffee creamer, which I never found. And that got me to thinking, why not just make your own? Here are some of the benefits for making your own creamer. One, it's easy to find. It's right in your fridge. Two, you can enjoy seasonal flavors all year round whenever you want. And three, you know what you're putting into your body. So a lot of the coffee creamers, I'll insert like a picture right here. They have all of these additional ingredients that just don't sound that great for you. And of course, a lot of them are to preserve the coffee creamer. And I just, I just don't like that, you know? Um, I do love Chobani coffee creamers because usually you'll see that they're just made with milk, cream, and sugar and that's it and that's honestly what we're aiming for today so let's get started i've decided we're going to make three creamers today one we're going to make a french vanilla to keep it classic two we're going to make a gingerbread coffee creamer and three we're going to make a peppermint mocha coffee creamer so um let me show you guys everything that we're going to need for that and then we can get to making Okay guys, so I've got the base for my coffee creamers. For starters, you're going to need little mason jars to store them in. I picked these up from Target in the dollar section that they have there. And I think two of these were $3, so super easy to find, right? And honestly, the coffee creamer just calls for three things. So some milk of your choice. You can use oat milk, almond milk, whole milk, whatever it is that you want to do. But I'll be using A2 for this video because you guys know how much I love them. So I'm going to be using their um, A2 just regular milk. I'm going to also be using A2 half and half. And then I'm going to be using a syrup of choice. So as you guys can see, this is super easy to do. We're going to mix it all together and you can store it in your fridge for up to a week. I am going to add some additional ingredients, of course, for each of um, the creamers, but this is kind of the base of it. Milk, half and half, and a syrup. Now, I did see some other things out there that said that you can make you can use condensed milk but i just didn't want to do that because one it's terribly sweet and if i use condensed milk i would still have to add the flavor that i want that would make it even sweeter and i also think if you're going to make use condensed milk then you'll use more natural ingredients like you might actually use like the vanilla bean or you might actually use peppermint right so we're just keeping it nice and simple and easy so all of you guys can do it as well let's get started on our coffee creamers Okay guys, so super simple. We're gonna start out with a measuring cup. Vanilla is gonna be the easiest one to make. I'm just gonna measure out equal ingredients. So I've got my milk. I'm going to do uh, one cup of milk. There we go. Then I'm gonna do, yikes. Then I'm gonna do one cup of half and half. So we'll use this for two creamers. So what we're going to do is just equal parts. So equal part milk, equal part half and half, equal part syrup. So right here, we're just going to split this in two for two creamers. We've got the milk and the half and half nicely combined. And for now, I'm just going to pour uh, eight ounces out to split this alrighty 
So now we've got vanilla and we've got gingerbread. Let's keep it moving. Now to our half and half milk mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add half a cup of syrup. Um, trust me, you're gonna need it. I feel so bad putting half a cup of my, one of my favorite syrups in here, but you're definitely gonna need the flavor for your coffee. So guys, this is easy to remember, just half of everything. All right, I'm gonna be needing to place another order soon. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that into my mixture. There we go. For this one, I'm also gonna add some vanilla extract to kind of up the ante on the taste. So one teaspoon. Let's do two. It's gonna give us that rich taste of vanilla. And then to combine it, I'm just gonna use my Christmas Joy Milk Frother. Not really aiming to froth the milk, but just to kind of mix it all together. Alrighty, I think that's done. Now you're gonna grab one of your jars from Target and I'm gonna go ahead and pour my vanilla creamer into the jar. Look at that, it's the perfect amount. All right. You can then put your lid on it and put it in the fridge. Alrighty friends, so our measuring cup is back. We still have our eight ounces from our milk half and half combo. So we're gonna go ahead and add that back in. And now we're making gingerbread. So we have our gingerbread syrup from Tarani. Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and pour half a cup of gingerbread syrup into our milk mixture. But of course, I am gonna add on a few more things. I do want that extra spice, so I'm gonna do a dollop of cinnamon and then a dollop of nutmeg. I love nutmeg. I think it's like so good in most things, most things bake related. And then again, I'm gonna take my joy to the world mixer. <laughs> hand frother and we're gonna froth this together. And there you go, we're just frothing so that we can mix it all together. Um, and this will be great in the morning when you're ready, you just go to your fridge, you grab your little container and you're good to go. All right, so that looks as though it's blended really nicely. We're gonna grab our second mason jar and then we're gonna pour our gingerbread creamer into it. We're gonna place our lid on there. And place it into the fridge. Alrighty friends, so it's time to get into our peppermint mocha. We're gonna be using the peppermint uh, syrup by Tarani, it's their pure made line that I really enjoy. And of course we're gonna be using equal parts, eight to half and half and eight to um, whole milk. Of course, no mocha would be complete without chocolate. So we're gonna be using the Nespresso chocolate squares. I absolutely love these. I've had um, the gingerbread ones, caramel, and of course these are their classic milk chocolate. Now, of course, the chocolate isn't just gonna melt if I do it here, so my plan is to combine, again, the milk and the half and half, and then go from there. So, let's start. I'm gonna use six ounces this time. So, I'm gonna take it to the three-fourth line. There we go. And then, the same for the milk. I'm gonna use six ounces. So they should take us up to the 12 ounce line. 
Okay. And then I'm just gonna give these two a mix together really quickly. Just so it's nicely blended. Next up, I'm gonna take this over to my stove because again, we are gonna be melting some chocolate today. First up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the milk mixture to my saucepan. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my Nespresso milk chocolate squares. For this one, we're gonna use quite a bit. Uh, because I want it to be nice and chocolatey. I do have a whisk, but only God knows where it has gone off to, so we're just gonna use the spatula, but you guys can see the chocolate is starting to melt. We're gonna help it on out a little bit with a little extra mixer. If you're trying to make things even faster, I would even consider using like maybe A2's chocolate milk, but honestly, I'm not gonna use the rest of that. So, and I have so much chocolate to spare in my house. So I figured this would be the better way to go. I'm gonna give it a little taste. <laughs> it's chocolatey, but I'm thinking more chocolate. Hold on. I totally forgot that I had this cacao powder. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of that. I am totally free handing this guys, but you can obviously like use the measurements that work for you. But I just want it to be extra chocolatey. Yeah, that looks much better. It's like completely chocolate now. Taste it. Ooh, that's good. Now, the cacao powder is actually dark chocolate, so we're definitely gonna have to add the peppermint syrup on in here to sweeten this on up, but it tastes great so far. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, instead of equal part um, peppermint, I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup instead of half because I don't wanna be overwhelming with the flavor. My guys are getting ready to go on a play date, so if you hear them in the background, that's what's happening. I think we can actually stand some more peppermint, so we're gonna, we're gonna go for the full half a cup. Mix to combine. Oh yeah, that's pretty bomb. Pretty bomb. I am gonna go ahead and strain this a bit so we get the chunky parts out. And then we're ready to bottle it. It was a good idea to strain this one because I have a lot of extra chocolate bits there. I'm gonna use my little anthro bottle that I got. I'll show it to you guys. It says cold milk, but we're going to be using it for our peppermint mocha creamer. Perfect. And there we have it. We've got, it's a little warm, but We've got our peppermint chocolate mocha creamer. We're gonna chill this and um, maybe we'll try one of them before videos end. Alrighty, so now that we have got our creamers ready, let's go ahead and make us a drink. I'm actually gonna just use chocolate fudge for this one. Um, and I think I'm gonna use, of course, my peppermint mocha creamer. So. I do need a mug, right? Oh my goodness. Let's use this guy. And brew. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna reach on over, grab my, grab my mocha creamer, and we're gonna froth a little in our arachino. Two 
between the smell of the chocolate fudge and my mocha. Ugh, so good. Let's go ahead and pour these together. All right. And give it a taste. All right, guys, so let's give my homemade creamer a taste and see how it goes. Ooh, that's really nice. It's the strong taste of peppermint, a milder taste of chocolate. It could be a little bit sweeter, but I do love it this way. For me, I love it this way because I'm trying to cut down on sweetness, although I did just add half a cup to the entire creamer. But this is nice, and if you don't want to go out to the store and spend a ton or not know what's in your coffee, then this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, really, really good. I'm making that face because it's hot. But um, yeah, guys, thank you for stopping by Maison Molly. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, have you ever made coffee creamer at home before? If you have, what flavor? And now that you see how simple it is to make, which flavor will you be making? Don't forget to tag me over on Instagram, at Maison Molly. I would love to see your creations. Thank you for stopping by me as Molly and I'll see you guys next time.